Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, November 26, 2019. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Archdiocese of Detroit continues to stonewall. Yesterday, a Detroit judge issued yet another order compelling the Archdiocese to produce its files on Father Edward Perone, suspended from ministry over a now discredited allegation of abuse. Church Militant has revealed that the file exonerates Perone, showing that the alleged victim suffers from psychosis and hallucinations, and that his 40-year-old repressed memory of alleged abuse is not credible, and that Monsignor Michael Bugarin, spearheading the investigation, pressured, coached, and manipulated the alleged victim to make false claims. In spite of the court's Monday order compelling production, the Archdiocese of Detroit has responded by making clear it has no intention of turning over the file. Hungary's prime minister is slamming Europe for failing to defend persecuted Christians. In his opening remarks at the second international conference on Christian persecution this morning, Prime Minister Viktor Orban said, quote, four out of five people persecuted for their faith are Christians, and over and over, Europe remains silent, close quote. The conference is taking place in Budapest. It's aimed to address, in its, in its words, the most neglected humanitarian and civilizational crisis of our time. China continues its crackdown on Chinese Catholics. A church in the southeastern province of Jiangxi was recently ordered to remove an image of the Blessed Virgin with the Christ child from its sanctuary and replace it with a portrait of President Xi Jinping. The communist government also ordered the church to paint words on its church, reading, quote, follow the party, obey the party, and be grateful to the party, close quote, and fly the communist flag outside the entrance. Persecution in China has intensified ever since the Vatican signed an accord with China, recognizing the government-backed church. Pro-democracy candidates have swept Hong Kong local elections in a strong message from voters against the government. Yesterday's results show that pro-democracy candidates won strong majorities on all 18 councils. It was the biggest exercise in democratic participation in the history of the nation, with three million voting, half of Hong Kong's population. The election signals a sea change in the country, where the pro-Beijing elite no longer retain control. Florida will host the nation's first concert against communism. Scheduled for April 11, 2020, the concert is co-sponsored by the Cuban Democratic Directorate, a nonprofit that advocates for human rights in communist Cuba. Artists will include musicians whose activism has landed them in prison in the communist dictatorship. A week ago, Cuban Americans organized a protest against businesses that book pro-communist artists in Miami, where thousands of Cubans who fled the dictatorship live. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Trump and Satan. God bless you.